Yep, you're ready to go. Are you rolling? Yeah. So you're rolling now? Yeah. Now? Yep. Okay. So I go now? Yeah. Michael's playing with his camera again. <laughs> yes, I am. What was I going to say? Hi. Anyways. I'm going to say something profound, Michael. Okay. Every now and then, I hear people say this, or I read it online somewhere, you know, about tomahawks, can't chop, you know, their weapons. And, and right there, I think, well, if they're a weapon, and they, they can't chop because they're a weapon, it doesn't make sense to me. I would think you'd want a weapon to be as sharp as it could be, so... You wouldn't have to put all kinds of energy into getting a swing up to hit your enemy because they're going to block that and then you're going to be dead. I mean, it should be pretty sharp so you can just make a fast a fast motion and, and hit them, right? I mean, that's what it seems like to me. Not that I would use one of these for a weapon. I mean, you know. But, uh, you know, and then I see other tomahawks uh, denting wood. You see it on YouTube. Uh, I've every now and then seen it in person, but I see axes in general and hatchets doing the same thing, just denting the wood. Uh, and then people get tired of chopping and then they think chopping sucks. And, uh, you know, they think people from a hundred years ago were like supermen or something because they could dent wood to pieces. But, uh, I mean, a tomahawk should chop. I mean, it should be fun, you know? If your tomahawk ain't fun, you know, what do you have? A, a hammer. A hammer you can't pound nails with. <laughs> you know, so all of ours have the same edge, same angle. All of them are just like this. I know I've cut a 2 by 4 before. You know, I got a video doing that before. But I wanted to say this. Not like I couldn't have broke that. You know, you go camping, uh, you know, we've cut, since the kids were little, for the past 10 years, almost every Sunday, we'd go hiking and, uh, and cut our firewood with a tomahawk. Every now and then we'd take a saw, just for the fun of it. Uh, but this, this thing has cut so much firewood, even in the winter, you know, and it's, it's been enough. You know, now if I was camping overnight, maybe I would take, in the winter, uh, maybe I would take a saw or something like that. You know, if you want a big fire, a big, big fire, you know, little fire, this would do. It does fine. Uh, you know, especially like chopping vertical like this. I do all my chopping like this. I'm not saying you should chop like this, you know. Obviously, you got to say things like that these days. But, I mean, you know, there are dan dangers involved because you are chopping higher up in the air. You could put it right into your leg. Uh, you know, but if you know where the dangers are, you know, minimal effort. You know, when you can productively chop like that, uh, I mean, it's fun. 
all of a sudden, it doesn't suck anymore. I used to chop with crappy axes when I was a kid. You know, the, the edges, they've been sharpening and sharpening and sharpening until, you know, they're, they're like this right at the edge. And, you know, it just bounces off of whatever you're cutting. And, you know, that's, that's no fun. Getting nowhere is no fun. And uh, going out there with just this in the woods, I used to take a knife all the time in the woods when I was growing up. Wow, I got to have a knife, you know. Now, I really, I don't care if I don't have a knife. That's, that's sacrilege right there, you know. But, I mean, the tomahawk, what you can do with a tomahawk compared to what you can do with a knife, uh, it's just, it's a mile apart. The tomahawk just rules. I mean, we sell knives, too. You know, I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot. Knife has its place, it does. But, uh, you know, a tomahawk, wow, what you can do with one. And the fun you can have with one, it's, uh, it's really something. Whittling, you know, the productive whittling you can do uh, normally I'll see whittling with a tomahawk on YouTube. And it's just scraping off sawdust. <laughs> it's sad. I really feel for those people that that they can't experience the uh, the fun. The fun that it is, I mean, if you want to put a point on something like that, you, you can start off hogging. Whoops. Took the point off there a little. And then come back and whittle. See, you don't really need your knife. But if you want a knife, we'll sell you one too. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say we sell knives? <laughs> Anything. You want to put a notch in something? Yeah, easily. You you know. There you go. And then whoops. I'm <laughs> I kind of suck at this. Uh let's try it a little different. Whoops. All right, not a good example. Yeah, I, I could do better than that. But I mean, you get the point. Anyway, and you can do a better job than that. I was just kind of, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, You see, I'm not doing a huge swing here. I mean, it's really just kind of like with my wrist. Well, there goes the stick. Anyway, here, Mike Lava, you hand me that.
I can hear that cutting. Yeah. So that's when uh, people say 4140 uh, doesn't hold an edge well. They uh, they don't know what they're talking about. Or they have something made of 4140 that uh, wasn't heat treated properly. So are you done shaving, Michael, or are you going to do the whole leg? No, that's good. No, that's good. Yeah. It's Michael! Yeah. Yes, there he is. The fruit of my overactive loins. <laughs> <laughs> have to add that in there. <laughs> Nothing like embarrassing your child. Yeah, that's, that is sharp. You hear it cutting the hair there. I mean, that, that was pretty decent. Yeah. You did that whole, it's a lot of chips. Uh, let's see here. Where's the, I think I covered what I was getting at there. You know, the blunt tomahawks out there. I don't know if people, you know, just are, trying to get them out the door real fast and putting a really steep, you know, just running it on the belt sander, grind, grind, and it's really steep. Like, if they think that's all people are expecting, uh, I don't know. To me, the tomahawk is just, is just a smaller hatchet. And even there, you know, you get a lot of hatchets out there that won't cut. I mean, they, they uh, I mean, they wouldn't, they wouldn't just seal through something like that uh, kind of gives tomahawks a bad name I wish they uh, I wish they they wouldn't sell something like that and give people a bad experience and then you read in the forums that tomahawks aren't for taking out in the woods and having fun with but uh, whatever we can change the uh, change the world one customer at a time. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, there we go. Thanks. Oh, Have did. a good evening. Did you want to get a close up of the tomahawk under the light? Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that's been in uh, a lot of, well, like a few we videos. Uh, th that's our, our standard curly ash handle not a premium and uh, I put the the friction tape on there just you know it, it is nice with the friction tape uh, we have end cap that'll go on there a metal end cap uh, that you know if you want a hand stop uh, we could put leather around the handle uh, if someone were interested in that uh, you know and there's all kinds of different designs of the head we have available if if someone were to want uh, something that we didn't make, uh, if you had an accurate, decent picture, uh, send that to us. We'd give it a shot. I mean, if it's some Klingon <laughs> <laughs> weapon, you know, that would be a, a probably a no. But uh, anything else would be a probably a yes. Uh, you know, you can see they're uh, pretty thin profile right there uh that they're straight i see other tomahawks on the market it really ticks me off where uh someone will hide behind the statement that it's handmade and that means a bent up piece of crap i've seen so many where you see the top view and the blade is uh coming off of the eye at an angle like this and the hammer is coming off at a different line over here. I, I, I just can't stand that. I mean, if you're paying good money for a tomahawk or anything, if you're paying for a custom that's supposed to be something you're going to be proud of and that you are going to take out in the woods and have fun with, it better be nice. Uh, I would never imagine someone would pay good money for something that was crooked cockeyed not you know not lined up with the handle 
I uh, that's not gonna. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get that. Um, maybe like that. But uh, you know, and this one, this one's been around a while. This is years old. I've I've had this for years, years. Uh, you know, still the original handle. I mean, I tell you, I've chopped a lot of wood with this thing. Uh, you know, if you don't overstrike and you don't ding up your handle, it'll last a long time. If it loosens up, uh, you know, I have the uh, the paper and the wood hardener thing that's out there somewhere. Uh, it, it works. It works. This has had that done to it. Uh, and, I mean, it's it's not loosened up yeah approaching february again and it hasn't loosened up or anything yeah that's been about a year for this one and uh what was i gonna say about that the uh we're almost out of battery uh anyway uh like i was saying this this one is kind of beat up they're a little more uniform they're nicer looking when they go out the door uh, this one has been around. I don't have one out here. Yeah, no. I don't think we have one out of here. No, I don't have a new one out here. They're in the house. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot, and have a good night, and uh, sayonara. <laughs>